If you're a content creator, influencer, entrepreneur, or you want to be any of those, and you want to be on the TikTok platform, this video is for you. This video is the ultimate TikTok tutorial for beginners. We're gonna go over how to set up your profile, the basic functionalities of TikTok, how to create a video, and a little bit of strategies to get you started with growth. I'm Millie, and let's just jump right into it. First, let's start with your profile. If you go to the edit profile section, this is what it looks like. Starting with your profile photo and username, you want these to be in alignment with who you are and what niche or industry you are in. So before you even start setting up your account and before you even start posting, ask yourself, what do you want to be known for? If you've always wanted to start a book talk channel, maybe your username is going to be book Rex with Remy and the profile photo is gonna be a picture of you holding books. It's great if you're able to have the username explain who you are and what you do, or if it's just your name, something that's easy to remember and not too hard to spell. Now for the name part of your profile. When you're actually on your profile view, the name is going to be at the very, very top. So on my profile, you'll see Millie, social media coach. I put my name, but I also put some keywords of how I want people to find me. This section of your profile is the most searchable on TikTok. So if you go to the search function on TikTok and you type in social media coach, hopefully my profile will pop up because I put those keywords in my TikTok profile. So again, asking yourself, what do you wanna be known for? Maybe it's Remy and book recommendations or Remy fiction book recs, right? So what is that key phrase that you want people to find you as? Put that there. In your bio, believe it or not, your bio is not about you. It's gonna be about the value you provide and why somebody should follow your channel or follow your page. What's the unique perspective that you bring from your channel? What value do you provide to your target audience? For me, I'm an educator, so I teach people how to become a full-time creator. I say that in my bio, it's not about me, it's really about the person who's looking at my profile and they're like, ooh, she's gonna teach me how to become a full-time creator. I benefit from this, so I'm gonna press follow. So how can you like appeal to your target audience? I know a lot of people who are starting on TikTok or they want to grow on TikTok, they want to categorize themselves in this lifestyle industry and you wanna post about anything and everything. And that's okay when done correctly, but really communicate who you are and what makes you different and unique from everybody else who's also doing that same thing. What unique perspective do you have on lifestyle? Maybe you're somebody who has ADHD and it could be the perspective of somebody with ADHD and how they live their day-to-day -day lives. Maybe you're somebody who has been diagnosed with anxiety or severe panic attacks and you could shed light on how you live your day to day life and that some days are really freaking awesome and maybe some days aren't the best. So think about what unique perspective you have and how you can share that on TikTok. Whenever you have access to that link and bio option, definitely put a link there that maybe refers somebody to your email list. If you're somebody who hasn't started an email list, do it. I ignored that piece of advice for way too long and then I was like, because I was like, oh, that doesn't apply to me. And then I started growing on social media and I was like, oh shoot, I should have started an email list. So start an email list if you don't know what that is or you need to walk through step-by-step -step how to do it. Here's this video here. You can watch it after this one. But whenever you have access to putting a link in your bio, direct people to your email list. Okay, now let's go over the basic functionalities of the TikTok app. On the bottom, you have home, now, the plus sign, inbox, and profile. On home, you have two views. You have the following view and the for you page. We all know the for you page, but if you don't, it's basically the default page that TikTok refers to when you open up your app. And these are videos that TikTok picked for you. And maybe you don't follow these people, but TikTok thinks, hey, you might like this. So as you scroll, you will see all of these videos that um, are recommended to me. And then up top, you could switch over to following. And this is going to be videos of everybody that I'm following or this profile of mine is following. Like going through the bottom tabs, we have the now tab. This is TikTok's version of Be Real. So if you haven't heard of Be Real, it's basically when you capture one moment or one authentic moment of your day and you could 
scroll and view other people's authentic moment. No filters, nothing. So every day you can post your now. We'll get to the plus sign in in a second because we're gonna go over how to make a video. But then we have your inbox and this is all of your activity. This is messages, notifications, people who tag you in videos, stories. You could see like everybody's stories up top. So this is like all activity in the inbox section. Then you have your profile. So going back to home, if you wanna search for anything on TikTok, you're going to go to the top right. There is a search button and that's where you'll find anything and everything. Basically like it says, you may like, like organize your life. So if I click organize your life, it's going to show me the top recommendations of videos here. And then there's these tabs that'll show me like top users for organize your life. As you could see here, my example of, hey, make sure you put keywords in your name. Well, when you look up organize your life, you switch to users. If somebody has organized your life in their name, they're popping up in recommendation y'all. So if I'm looking up social media coach, boom shakalaka, and I go to users, anybody who has social media coach in that name part, it's popping up on TikTok. So just another example of why it's so important to put those keywords there in your name. And then of course, videos that say social media coach, sounds that might have that. You could go live, search for lives and look at hashtags. Another feature if you want to filter. So the first video that's recommended to me is from 2020 and I'm like, okay, maybe I want something a little bit more recent, a little bit more relevant on the top right. There is a filter option and you could filter by date. So it could be all time. It could be any videos posted yesterday. I like to do any videos posted in the last month or the past three months. And even you could search by relevance or most liked. So we'll get back to this feature in a little bit later when we talk about growth strategies. But yeah, TikTok right now is a really great search engine and they use a lot of SEO strategies for distributing content and organizing content. So don't let that word SEO scare you or intimidate you. I'm somebody that I used to freak out anytime I heard the word SEO. Like if I heard somebody say SEO, my brain would shut off and I would tune out everything they said because I'm like, oh no, this is too advanced for me, but don't worry. It's nothing complicated. I'm not gonna sit on it for too long right now. Now let's talk about creating TikToks. There's kind of two ways to create videos. You can create one from scratch or you can create one using an audio. Let's say I was scrolling in my feed and I found this video and I wanted to use this audio. What I'm going to do is select the audio down at the bottom. You could either press where it says original sound or the little vinyl on the bottom right. It'll take you to that original sound. And so let's say I want to use this audio. So I'm gonna select use audio. Now we get into content creation, how to create a video on TikTok. Let's go over all of the features here before we press record. Top right, you can flip the camera so that it is either facing out or it is facing in. And then you have speed. So I typically film in the 1x speed. I've, I've never made a video in 0 0.3, 0 0.5 times two times three ever. But if you're somebody who does like to play with the speed of your video and you want it to be like fast or slow-mo, you can adjust the speeds here. Um, retouch just basically makes something a little bit blurry or not blurry. Let me just show you, let me flip it so you can see. How's the lighting? Okay, so this is with retouch on. Wow, my skin looks so smooth. Joke's on you. It's not that smooth, yeah? You see how it like kind of blurs it out a little bit? So that's retouch. We have filters. There's a bunch of filters to play with here. I typically don't use them because I don't think they're that great. I'd rather use the effects. So try to stay away from filters, my personal opinion. You have timer so you can count down an audio. You could count down from three or 10. Q&A if you wanna join in on conversations around TikTok, you can click on one of these, answer the question, and then your video will be found in that little Q&A bundle. Um, that's kind of like not advanced, but we won't go into it cause it's not like a common thing new TikTokers would do. And then of course you have flash on or off. Now let me get rid of the speed. Before you film your TikTok, you wanna adjust how long that TikTok video is going to be. So I like to always move my TikToks to three minutes because if I'm doing a talking head video, I don't know how long my video is gonna be, but if I start recording on the 15 seconds and 
I record and I get to 15 seconds and I'm like, oh shoot, I need, a, I need more time, I need to add time. You can't. Once I select 15 seconds and I start recording, I can't adjust or add more time after. So just by habit, I always switch to three minutes to make sure I have plenty of time. Then on the bottom left, we have effects. Effects are really fun and uh, sometimes effects can be trending too. I also will use effects on days where like, maybe I'm not wearing any makeup, I'm not feeling confident, and I just wanna like add fake eyelashes. So I'll like search for an effect, lashes, and I'll tap through a few until I find one that looks natural. I try to keep it as neutral and natural as possible or no effects. Like this one's natural, yeah? I feel like it changed my face shape, like my eyes are closer together, I don't know. But um, yeah, those are effects. They're also really great for green screen. So if you want to have like a picture behind you, you can just type in green screen and it's gonna have a few green screen options. So you could have a video play behind you while you're talking, a photo play behind you while you're talking, just a fun feature to know about. And then you have upload, so you can upload videos from your camera roll. Now at the very, very bottom, you could record videos for stories and also use TikTok templates. Ooh, I like that. Um, but we're just gonna record to this audio that we found. So I'm gonna flip the camera and I am gonna do the countdown. So I'm gonna do timer. I'm gonna set the camera to stop recording there. So I could start countdown. Three. But imagine how tired we are. And then maybe I like go over here, count down, and then I do the rest. But imagine, imagine how tired, tired we, are. we are. I don't know if that really matched up. But imagine but how tired we are. You kind of get the gist of it. Imagine how tired we are. Yeah. But imagine how. Cool. So that's like using an audio that you like and making a video with it. Or you can just press the plus sign and start from scratch. So you could do a video here, talk, 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 and add sound. You can scroll through and discover currently trending audios. Um, there's this like playlist, you could do TikTok viral, new releases, hip hop. So that's a great way to find like trending audios or current popular audios. Even if you're doing a talking head video, I'll still pick a trending audio and bring the volume down to like volume three, having it play in the background to help almost boost my video. Now, before we get into how to edit your TikToks after you've recorded them, I wanna talk a little bit about growth strategy and planning out your content. First things first, every Everybody is going to have a different strategy that's going to work for them. So with all of the tips and tricks that I give you and that you hear on the internet, whether it's from me or other coaches or on TikTok, you can absolutely test them out and see if they work for you. If they're not working for you, you can switch it up and find something that makes sense for you, your niche, your industry, your target audience. Now, first things first, when creating your content, every platform kind of revolves around the same tips. Be consistent, provide value, pick a niche, no, 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 right? We hear all of those things. And the reason we hear all of those things is because they work. It helps to pick a niche and narrow down your content topics. The reason you want to niche down is because it helps TikTok categorize your account. So if you have like this lifestyle account where one day you post the salad that you make and then the next day you post your coffee recipe and then the next day you post about the Amazon haul that you just did and then the next day you do bathroom organization, you know, and you're doing a little bit of everything, it can confuse the algorithm and TikTok might not know how to categorize you. So that's why most social media experts recommend picking a niche and an industry to just focus on to help TikTok categorize your content and get your content to the right people. And then same thing with being consistent. When you're consistent, the algorithm loves it. And let me just do a quick myth busting. Consistency doesn't mean posting every day. Yes, you can if you have the capacity to, but consistency is a frequency of posting that you can realistically keep up with. Everybody has different lifestyles. Some people are parents or moms, and some people work overnight shifts as nurses, and everybody has a different lifestyles. And for some of us, 
it might not be realistic to post every single day and that is okay. Consistency is just finding a rhythm that works for you, even if it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So find a rhythm that you can keep up with realistically for at least 30 days. If you need help planning out your content, I do have a free TikTok content calendar template. This template was created in Notion. It's the same template that I used when I did my 30 day TikTok challenge where I grew 20,000 followers in 30 days. So if you're somebody you're like, I have so many ideas, but I don't know how to organize them. I have this content calendar, it is free, so I'll leave a link below where you can download it. So what I like to do is I like to batch my content. And if you haven't heard of batching, it's basically where you just like record a bunch of videos in one day. So there's one day where I'm scrolling on TikTok and I find a bunch of audios I like, and so I'm just saving them, saving the audios. And then the next day, I'm gonna go back to those audios, I'm gonna film a bunch of videos, be done. The next day, I'm gonna edit the videos. So that's kind of what batching looks like. And some people, they don't, necessarily recommend batching because they're like, well, you have to keep up with trends and you have to use trending audio, blah, blah, blah. But I batch so that I have room for spontaneity. So last week I had a day where I was feeling inspired. I wanted to film. And so I went with that feeling and I was like, cool, I'm gonna batch a bunch of videos. I recorded 16 videos in a day. So if I'm posting three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's about five weeks of content. And I can plan it out as such and let it ride or throughout the week when I get those random spurts of inspiration or I come across a trending audio and I wanna get on it quick, I could whip out my phone, do the quick trending audio, I could post it and I have room to do that spontaneous content instead of feeling pressured to do trending audio because I, I created so much future content that's kind of like, it, it can be posted whenever. It's not relying on any trends. I have like 15 videos where I'm like, okay, I can calm down. If I come across a trending audio, I'm just gonna record. We'll bump everything back and I can fill in the gap whenever. I hope I explained that well, but that's how I create consistency and I batch so I have room for spontaneity. And then finally we have provide value. Now providing value is going to look different on every single account. Obviously for me, I'm an educator, so my value that I give my audience is mostly educational type videos. But for you, maybe you don't want to be an educator. There's four different types of value that you can provide. There's educational, entertaining, inspirational, and relatable. So if you're creating a video and you can categorize that video under a content pillar and under one of those four values, then that's a good indicator that it's going to be a great video for your target audience. Which also kind of segues into the next point of value is it's not create videos that are valuable to you. You're not creating videos that you're like, oh, I find this so valuable. This is so valuable to me. But you're creating videos that are valuable to your target audience. So some people, when they're starting, they don't know what their niche is yet. And that's okay because sometimes we know who we want to reach. So maybe you know that you want to reach just other college students. So you want to get into the mind of college students and be like, okay, what would they find valuable? Not what's valuable for you. What would your target audience find valuable? For example, like I said, your target audience is college students. So let me just type in college students or college hacks, college organization. So this is a bunch of content ideas that you can create because you know you wanna reach college students. So college day in my life. You could do a college day in my life. Scroll down, it says others have searched for day in my life college student aesthetic college day in my life sound, college day in my life as a business, productive day in my life as a college student, day in the life of a college student. So those are some great video ideas. Again, typing in college hacks, college life, college organization. Let's click college organization. Let's see what comes up. Others search for best college organization apps. That would be a good one. Like these are my favorite apps for keeping me organized while I'm in college. You know, so look up what you want to be known for and see what other people are searching for and then create content on those things. That's how you know it's valuable because people are literally searching for it. Now that you know the basics of how to create your content in a strategic way, let's go and edit a video. So I'm gonna go to this one. So this is a video that I've already filmed. There's a few options here. You have text, stickers, effects, 
filters, adjust clips, captions, privacy, press the arrow, noise reducer, voice effects, voiceover, and enhance. That's a lot. So you can add text here. I'm just gonna say, hi. You can change the different fonts here. You can, the little voice thing makes Siri say it. So it'll say, hi. You can change the color. When doing your text, make sure it doesn't like blend in. So I'm not gonna put white text on my white shirt. I wanna put some white text on like a black background. So once you have your text, you can adjust the duration by tapping on it, turn it text to speech, do set duration, and then you can adjust how long um, that text is going to be playing for here. So you just drag this and as you could see, highs there, and now it's not. Next we have stickers. This can be locations, hashtags, a poll to talk to your audience, adding photos to pop up while you're telling a story. You could do GIFs or GIFs, however you wanna pronounce it, emojis, all the things. With all of these, you can also adjust the duration on any sticker that you add. So here I will select duration and choose when I want it to pop up. So when I press play, you could see it pops up right there. Check mark. <laughs> nice face. If you've recorded a talking head video, at the top center, you can also add a sound. So that's kind of like a tip that I went over earlier is if I'm doing a talking video, I could add a sound to it. I'll select any trending sound recommended. On the bottom right, I'll adjust the volume. Keep my original voice 100%, added sound, bring it down to like 3%. Okay, going down, we have effects. Effects can be fun transitions that are added into a video. And to add the effect, you're just going to press and hold like you're recording the effect onto the video. So I want flash right here and I'm gonna press and hold for however long I want it to last on the video. So here I'll go one, two, three. And as you can see, there's a little red bar that's showing where I'm adding the effect. Filters is the same filters as if you were recording a video. I don't like using them. I think they're a little cheesy, like, like the OG Instagram filters. That's kind of the vibe I get from them, but maybe there's a good one I haven't found yet. And then we have adjust clips. This is like the best one for editing off any mess ups or long pauses in your videos. So TikTok finally has like a way better user interface. It's much easier to edit your videos on TikTok now because you can like adjust the clips that beginnings and the ends of them. I like to cut off anytime I have a breath. So if I start a clip and it's me going, so today, I cut off the whole part and I just start it right when I say the first part of the syllable. Like cut out all the breaths and the pauses. It's so great. If you mess up in the middle of a video, you can tap on the video, press split, and it'll cut it into two pieces and then you could like get rid of the section you didn't want. So that's cool. Also, you can adjust the speed of a clip. So if I wanted a clip to be really, really fast, I could speed it up. If I wanted it to be slow-mo, you could do that. The volume of a clip, so you can mute everything, you can rotate clips, and you can delete clips. Then going down, you have captions. So TikTok will auto-generate captions when you're talking, which that's what it's doing right now. And then you can scroll through the captions and make sure all of the words words are translated correctly. If there's a mistake, you have this little pencil where you can edit the captions and fix them. The rest are kind of self-explanatory. Privacy settings, you can share it so it's just yourself, just friends, anyone, turn off comments. You have noise reducer, so if there's background noise, you could press that to hopefully get rid of background noise. Voice effects, it could change your voice or sounds in the video and voiceover if you're doing like a day in the life video and you just record clips throughout the day you can then afterwards go add voiceover over your video and then enhance helps kind of add some contrast some brightness and this so on now when you're posting your tiktok you're going to add a caption plugging in a bunch of keywords so keywords are basically searchable words that might help people find you on the TikTok search. So maybe it's like day in the life as a full-time YouTuber. So that has day in the life, 
and full-time YouTuber as like really good phrases that people might search for. You can use relevant hashtags, tag people, tag a location, add to playlist. I like to categorize my content that way after I've posted a few videos. So I'll have a playlist on Instagram tips, TikTok tips, YouTube tips, brand collaborations. So that helps kind of create different like Netflix shows for my own page in a way. To select a cover, you're going to press select cover. You're going to choose something from the video and then you could also add like a different banner to help emphasize what that video is about. I'm going to save this to drafts and show you some examples. Oh, I've got to post today's be, be real or now. Let me do my face first. Haha, <laughs> you were in it. So that's my uh, TikTok now. Most of the time I try to make sure that the cover image is saying what the video is about. We're testing a few things right now, so my feed is a little messy, but most of the time, like down here, you can see all those banners saying, hey, this video is about how to level up your video clips through editing. Testing overly sponsored brands. Do you need to niche down? A creator that does this really well is um, Sky. Look at all of her cover images. It is so easy to find what you're looking for. So use her as an example. And then to get to your drafts, they're just gonna be on your profile. So here are all of my drafts that I have. Something to keep in mind is if you log out of your TikTok account or you try to open up your TikTok on another platform, another phone, you will lose all of your drafts. Okay, okay. So just be cautious and wary of that. If you want a few other TikTok hacks and TikTok features that you probably didn't know existed, like how to save your TikTok videos without the watermark before you post the video and even after you post the video, then go watch this video here where I go over the 10 TikTok hacks that you didn't know existed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Follow your joy, bye.